Hello everybody, my name is Uwega Daniel Salik. Today we are going to talk on how you can color grade your photos using Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. So without wasting any more time, let's jump direct into my tutorial and get started. So guys, uh, before starting anything else, I would like to talk about what is suitable for color grading in post-production. Uh, before you start uh, your uh, color grading process, make sure that your image has been shot in RAW format. In RAW format, this is a format that is already unchanged or has not been compressed and it has all the information that we need in post-production. So the difference between a JPG photo and a RAW image format is that a raw image format is any image that has not been finished or changed yet and all the settings are available for changing them in post-production but uh, a jpg format it is just like a finished product it is very difficult to change it or to modify it into something else so before you shoot your photos make sure that you shoot them in raw format so that you can have control over everything in post-production so after saying that let's jump direct into my tutorial and start the settings so that we get a nice looking image so i have an image here this is a sample image uh, that will be used for color grading uh, this has not been color graded yet and I shot this using sign style format in my camera. So if you don't know what is sign style, you can google it and you can find the basics of sign styles, how the image uh, can be shot using this format. Uh, so guys, we have control over temperature. Here we can adjust the temperature. Uh, we can add a little bit of temperature and tint because it's too much high we just put it down a little bit and uh, exposure you can see the image was uh, not well exposed so i would like to add a little bit of exposure yes not too much and uh, i would like to put high contrast uh, yes i think here is just enough uh, the highlights I can turn them down and shadows I can add them up to make it, everything appear here we need to, to get some information on this dark side of this person uh, so uh, clarity can adjust but I always don't like to add much clarity Yes, I think here is good enough. There I go. Color vibrance. Uh, vibrance. I think this is enough. A little bit on the plus one. Plus one. Yes, plus one. Okay. So you can toggle between the previous image and the one that has been set. Here when you toggle, this was before and this is after. Before, this is after. I think this looks pretty cool. So, uh, since we have already done, you click here, open an image. And this will allow you to open an image in Photoshop so that you can have the power to to export this image and use it in whatever situations you need uh, in this case I'm going to export this image for using it later I can post it on Twitter I can post it on Facebook or in different social media so what I'm going to do I'm going to click file then uh, save as I just save on my desktop uh, um, or maybe I can save on the same directory which is color grading CO 
color grade your photos it is here I say color color okay then I set it to a JPG format what is a JPG this one I think it's here so remember JPG is a finished product you can't change it you can't have any power to modify its settings uh, I leave it to medium I think this is good because if you put it here and the maximum it be, it will be having a lot of MBs so just medium then click OK once you have done that you open your folder and you find it is here so when you double click it you find the beauty of your image is already there so if you want to differentiate between these two photos let me show you a couple this was before after before after so guys this is how you color grade your photos uh, using Photoshop 2018 uh, and if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.